Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, make sure to subscribe for more content like this. And in today's video, I have another audition tutorial for you guys. It's about two companies, but there is a twist to it, so they are both really underrated companies that you guys might not have heard of, but then also might have heard of. So I'm sure you guys might have heard of top media, but maybe not so much about beat media. So those are the two companies that I'll be showing you guys how to audition for. And I actually do have like a first part of this. I also show you guys two underrated companies. I'll leave it in the description and the thumbnail is like this. So make sure to go watch that too if you are interested in auditioning for more so underrated companies that you could potentially have more of a chance of getting into because there are less people auditioning. So the ratio is a little bit different and usually smaller companies do have less expectations on trainees or people who are auditioning so this could be a good chance for those who are interested in that but anyway let's get on with the oh no 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 make sure to watch more audition tutorials i have a full playlist i'll also leave that in the description and now let's get on with the video so firstly, we're going to start out with Beat Media Entertainment's new audition. And so if you guys don't know already, this is the company for Ihaewon. She was in Girls Planet 999, so if you guys want to see her Instagram, that's there too. And this is official despite having so little followers, I guess. They uploaded this fairly recently, and as I said, this is like an underrated company, that's why it's there. And so yeah, it is official, so do not worry about that. But anyway, I'm going to be showing you guys how to audition for this, and so it's only in Korean, which is why I'm going to translate it. So this is the October online audition information, and so you can apply for this until October 29th. And so any male or female, it doesn't matter what age you are, can audition for this, which is nice. I've seen a lot of age like limits these days with companies, but this company does not have any age, age limits. So basically anyone can audition is what they're trying to say. And then you can do singing, dancing, rapping, and you can send it through their email, which is this. And so what you should include in the email is either one of vocal, dance, or rap. So for vocals, it should be no background, it says. So it says no like background vocals or music, and it should just be one verse. So make sure you show your face like entirely. And then for dancing, it's any song you want, and it should be, again, one verse. So what they mean by one verse is maybe from the beginning to the pre-chorus or the entire chorus. So around 30 seconds is what they're trying to look for. And it doesn't matter what genre you do either, and make sure your face is in that as well. And then for rap, then you should do around or less than one minute. It should be either a cover rap or like whatever you wrote. So like your own rap. So those are the three categories that they have. So just do one of them, you know, <laughs> and then they'll only announce the um, people that actually got into the audition and no one else. So this is the video information. However, there's some other things that you need to include. So make sure you have the video, like I explained, and then also a picture. So um, if you guys want to know how the picture should look like, then you can watch this video right up here. I do literally show you examples. It doesn't say how many, but two to three works. Or one also works, <laughs> whatever, like one to three, I guess. And then number two is write your profile. So what you should include in that is your name, your your age, your height, your weight, and your contact information. So this could be your email or your phone number, and then you can send the email. So it's a pretty simple audition. So next, let's move on to the top media audition, and they opened an email audition. So they do have an English translation, so let's just read that. So it's anyone born through 2003 to 2011. I think they just made like a little grammar mistake there. And categories you can choose is vocal, rap, dance, and appearance. So appearance basically means visuals. Not a lot of companies have this, but they still do have it. And then the application form should include your name, your age, height, weight, and contact numbers. So you kind of see like a repeating factor in these auditions, especially for email ones. They just want to know some basic information and videos and photos of you. So make sure to write it down in the email title or the contact. So all of the information about you should be written in the title or the content part of it. And the attachment file is mandatory, so it should be a photo. So it should be a photo of the upper body and a full length photo, so for each. And 
and it should not be corrected by Photoshop. And then vocal rap dance, it should be less than one verse with a freely selected song. So this is very repetitive, I guess, compared to the other audition too. And then the appearance part should be less than two minutes of self-introduction. And because it's about your visuals, you should try to show that as well. But it should be a self-introduction because there's honestly no other way other than videos and photos to show your appearance. So how to apply is check the application form and then send it to audition at itopgroup.com. And who passed the audition will be contacted individually within two weeks of checking the email. So you honestly don't know when they check the email, but within two weeks of that. So maybe it'll take them around a month possibly if you do pass and they will contact you if you do pass the audition. And then it says find the form. And so I'm assuming it'll be in the website. So I just open up the website and their bio. And then we're going to click on to audition right here. So all of this does include all of the information that I said to you guys, but let's just open it through a Word, Word doc. Save and then just open it. So because it does require files, then you need to go on a computer or a laptop. So it's pretty simple. It just says your full name, your category. So just select one, highlight it, whatever. Your birth date, your height and weight your school, and also include what grade you are or job. So if you don't go to a school, then just write down what kind of job you have. It doesn't have to be too specific. Um, and then your hobbies, basically, where you live. So like your address, write it down very specifically. And then any other special things about yourself. So not necessarily your hobbies, but maybe your talents. And then your contact information. So this could be your phone number because they also ask for your email here and other information that they might want to know about you. So maybe some experience, like your training ones. If you don't have it, then just don't write it down. And then write down a self-introduction. So anything else you want to share to them, maybe why you want to become an idol, whatever stands out to you, then you should write within this part. And this can be in English. They specifically don't say that it shouldn't be in English either. So we're back at the website and let's just read the audition notice. So yes, it says that they started their email audition here. It's in Korean, not English. Yeah, so let's check out their FAQ. So this person asks, is there an age? So like an age limit. And it says, yes, it's anyone born after 2003. And it specifically says it doesn't matter what nationality or where you're from. Even though that wasn't a part of the question, that's what they said. And then in the email, what kind of information should you write down? So it says you should include the file and then whatever category you choose, you should do the following video, like attach that obviously. And then when you do your audition, should you have background vocals or instrumentals? And it says that singing and rap, people should have their thing without any music in the background. And obviously for dancing, you need to have the background music. And this is just about like the within two weeks, you'll have your results. So this is also a pretty simple audition. By the way, did you guys know that Queen Maya and An Jongmin are in top media? So maybe if you audition and you get in, you could be in a girl group with them. <laughs> or if you're a boy, then you could be in a future boy group within their company. So as I said before, make sure to watch my audition tutorials playlist for more auditions like this one. And I do have another underrated company's audition tutorial video. So make sure to go check that out as well. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more content like this. Why am I just repeating my intro? And make sure to comment down this emoji if you made it until here. Can you guys read what's on the laptop screen? I bet you can't. Here, I'll give you guys a little bit of a closer look. Leave it in the description if you, or in the comments if you can read that. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, no, that was actually bad. Like you could see, you could see the whole holes through this, you know? Okay, anyway, bye!